Hello everyone, welcome to Wonder Lab. In this video, we're going to learn what does one way on one tell us, when we can use this test, and how to use Prism to perform one way on one. First of all, analysis of variance, shortly known as ANOVA, is really important a statistical technique to compare more than two populations. You should know that one way on one is amongst our um, three most used statistical tests in biomedicine. And in this test, we have only one variable or single factor and more than two groups. Let's have a look at this example. We want to measure blood pressure in four groups of mice that treated with different dosage of a drug. So our variable is blood pressure and uh, we have more than two groups. Okay, before I show you how to do one way on one, I would suggest you to check normality test uh, for your data. And in this test, p-value must be greater than 500 or 0 0.05. So the null hypothesis uh, that distribution is normal is accepted. And p-value less than 500 or uh, 0 0.05 uh, means null hypothesis is rejected and distribution is not normal. Don't worry if it looks a little bit complicated. With one example, I will tell you how to do that. Look at this data, pause the video here, open the prism, and let's check normality step by step together. Okay, after you open prism, from this dialog box, you need to select column, don't change anything else, and then create. In this page, you need to write down your data or you can simply copy and paste them from an Excel file, whatever you like. I prefer to copy them from Excel and then simply paste them in Prism. Just like this. And then from above tab, select Analyze. And then Column Statistic. We have group A and B here. And then OK. Then you need to select um, three options in uh, Gaussian distribution. This is what we are looking for. We want to check normality, so don't change anything else. Click on OK. And here are our data. You can see that our data has normality test and it's done. Now we can see how to perform one way ANOVA. Let's get started. Please look at this table. We have seven groups of mice received IP injection of normal saline and dosage of uh, 5, 10, and 15 mg per kilogram of a special drug. And here is their uh, rotor test result. So we have one variable which is time and uh, we have more than two groups. So let's see how to do a one way ANOVA. Okay, here it is our previous windows that we checked on normality. For PRISM, you don't need to close it and start it from first. You can keep all your data at the same time and you can have several projects. Just uh, select new and then click on new data table. We want to do one way on a wall, so we will select column and then create. And you can um, rename your first data and so you will not like are confused between them and you can have several projects and analyzes here and access them every time that you want and let's rename this new data sheet as one way ANOVA okay now let's uh, copy and paste our data from excel file okay let's copy them and just simply paste them in prison. Now we have all our data. Now what you need to do is select analysis and select one way ANOVA. Uh, check that um, we have all our four data here that we want to like analyze. And here they ask if our data is matching or not. For example, if you measure blood pressure after and before treatment, data will be as paired. But our data, no, they are like um, they are not um, paired. So we will just let it as it is, and let's check on multiple comparison. 
I want to compare the mean of each column with the mean of um, another column you can select the third one it's up to you and in option we will select the recommended test which is talking here so let's check again uh, okay don't change anything else and uh, just okay okay here it is the result of our analysis we can see that p-value is significant and let's check the graph you can select um, what type of graph you prefer you can just um, change the title by clicking on them for example um, our variable here is time in seconds so let's write it here time in second okay you can change um, anything of this graph for example title whatever you like just select it click on it and just write what you want for example we will write here rotara test if you remember we wanted to have multiple comparison as well so let's see if there is any significant difference between our data now you can see here that there is difference between our dosage so we can add it to our graph here it is our graph okay from draw tab you can just draw a line here and show if our result is significant or not so let's do it in addition you can always click on your graph and change color form style whatever you like thank you for watching this video as always if you found today's video useful i would love to know and you can tell me in one simple way give this video a thumbs up here on youtube or leave a comment while you are at it subscribe to this channel so you never miss one of wonder lab video thank you for joining me and i look forward to seeing you next time